Hey there guys, um, I'm just getting to the stage now in this drawing where uh, I'm actually going to start drawing the hair uh, and I thought this would be um, a really really good tutorial and quick um, time to just have a look at how we do this hair. So if I go back to my reference image now, so you can see that uh, in the reference image here what we've got is we've got some white and grey uh, African style curly, very tight curly hair uh, with some darker areas in there. So in order to do this I'm going to use two things. Uh, I'm going to use a 2B pencil and I'm going to use a very, very soft brush, okay? And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start very, very lightly and I'm just going to do some very loose, uh, very, very free-flowing, uh, not regimented at all, um, tight circles making sure that this pencil is absolutely sharp, uh, we, we don't want a blunt end and uh, I'm, I'm constantly moving this pencil around in my hand uh, to make sure that I'm always using uh, the sharp area and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm always using a new fresh piece of graphite every few strokes. So just getting this very, like we say, very tight knit, almost random circular shape. Uh, to the hair and then what we're going to do is we're going to when we've got enough graphite on there we're just going to start to brush it around slightly because um, the one thing to remember when you're trying to draw any light coloured hair is you're never going to be able to represent any of the hairs that are lighter in colour with a pencil stroke uh, we're going to actually take some of the value out uh, with, a, with an eraser either a kneaded eraser or uh, a mono zero eraser which is what I've got here uh, so this is a mono zero eraser, uh, it's retractable uh, and it's, uh, it's very, very good uh, for getting fine, fine details and fine edges. So we're, we're going to do that, but we need to get enough graphite on the page um, to start with. So we're doing that with, like I say, the 2B pencil and I'm, I'm pressing on very, very lightly. So we don't want to be pressing on too hard because like I say, we need to be able to remove some of the, some of the graphite slightly later on. It makes, uh, it makes it look much more realistic when we've got uh, whiter areas within the, the darker areas. So what we're actually looking at doing here is, is we're, we're trying to almost draw the spaces that are in between uh, the hairs rather than the actual hairs themselves. Now if I was doing um, an afro or some sort of very tight curled hair that was darker, that was black, then obviously I would be trying to uh, recreate some of the, the hairs themselves. But even if you look at a reference image uh, where somebody has very dark hair, there are still light areas in there. So this idea of trying to uh, take out graphite to represent the lighter areas still applies even in the darkest, even in the darkest of subjects. So I'm going to go through this uh, this whole whole head really um, looking for those darker areas and then we're going to look to take some of the uh, the highlighted areas out so what I'm going to do is um, I'll quickly show you how I'm brushing it so just taking my soft brush and I'm just going to lightly brush the graphite being very careful that I'm not brushing too much of this graphite into the face here as you can see I've worked very hard to get some of these values so some of these lighter values here darker values here and what I don't want to be doing is is uh, is ruining those by adding um, value from the area here that I've got on the brush so we're just going to be lightly brushing and then what I'm going to be doing is if I take my mono zero razor I'm just going to be very, very lightly, just just removing some of the graphite in certain areas. And this starts to then represent white or grey hair. So what I'll do is I'll time lapse the next 25 minutes, I guess it's going to be. Uh, you'll probably see it all done in about 10 seconds. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll have a little check back in with you just to, uh, just to show you how we're progressing.
So there you go. I hope you can uh, you can see the kind of process that we're going through. So just as a quick recap, um, I'm, I'm filling in the darker areas with the 2B pencil and then I'm lightly brushing with my soft brush. And then what I'm doing is I'm taking out some of the value, which is going to give me uh, the, the, the highlighted and the gray areas. Uh, I'm using a kneaded eraser here. I changed halfway through from um, the Mono Zero eraser. This was just taking a little bit more value off um, for me than the kneaded eraser. So uh, all I've done is I've just made a, what we call a blade. So I've just pinched the end so I've got a very flat edge. And I'm just going around randomly taking out areas of, of graphite. And then I'm really just repeating that process. So as I go around the head, I'm just going over and repeating um, and brushing, adding the value, making sure that my strokes are very, very light and also in sort of a random pattern. So we don't want anything to look regimented. We don't want anything to look manufactured. Uh, hair is none of those things, even, even cut hair. You're going to get uh, straightaway hairs and, and things that are just going to be able to trick your mind into believing that what it's looking at is, is something that's realistic uh, as opposed to something that's, that's fake and manufactured. I hope you enjoyed that video tutorial. It was just a quick one. Um, if you're interested in seeing how this picture, uh, this picture develops, then uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can see the whole video that will be uploaded later this week uh, from start to finish. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also get hold of me on my website, which is I, the letter I, howtodraw.com. Uh, and there's loads of information on there about drawing. Uh, I hope you give this a go. I hope it's helped. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Hit subscribe, smack the notifications button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter.